Hey, it's Tony talking Carbis. Today we've got video number two on the 2021 Avalon XSE Hybrid Blueprint. In this video, we're going to jump inside and we're going to check out all the interior features. Be sure to catch video number one, my exterior video. But in this one, we're just going to take a look and uh, see what we can find inside this really, really cool hybrid luxury sedan. Let's get started. Stop. So uh, jumping inside, we'll take a quick look at the uh, driver's door. So the interior color on this is called Cognac. It's kind of a saddle interior with the uh, black contrast looks really rich inside this car so i, I kind of like it especially with the blueprint exterior so on the doors we've got a brushed aluminum door handle nice piece of uh, brushed aluminum trim here and then we do have auto up and down on all four windows these are backlit switches power windows power door locks power mirrors here's one of the uh, 14 jbl audio speakers so this one's upgraded with the jbl audio system bottle holders on the doors and puddle lights down here on the bottom of the doors as well so when you open your door up you can see before you step into a puddle especially at night there's also some interesting trim on the upper part of the dash it runs all the way across the front to the passenger compartment it looks like a metallic finish a little bit like carbon fiber i'm sure it's plastic but it looks super nice on there and then notice the bezel here is brushed aluminum similar to what you see on the door so a nice presentation when you come in to the avalon particularly with the uh, avalon threshold there looks awesome on there before i dive in i did want to show you the xse trim does come with these brushed aluminum uh, brake and accelerator pedals on the dashboard automatic headlights or high beams traction control on and off trunk release gas release odometer dimmer switch for your dash lights and we do have a tilt and telescoping steering wheel the dashboard itself does have the soft tech fabric across here there's four of these vents one here two in the center and then one over on the passenger side for your heating and air conditioning driver's seat is full power with a power recliner and also power lumbar support side impact airbags and there's your first look at your seats so it's a combination soft tech fabric seat with suede inserts contrast stitching on the side so really a lot of different fabrics and these are heated seats it's a perforated seating surface but these are not cooled seats really a nice comfortable sporty looking bucket seats height adjustable headrest and height adjustable seat belts as well standard on the Avalon with side airbags that are mounted right in the sides of the seats. Let's go ahead and uh, grab a seat and check out the interior. Stop. So behind the wheel of the uh, XSE, the steering wheel is leather wrapped. It's also perforated on the side. This is not a heated steering wheel. That's not standard. Uh, it is available. Driver's side airbag, chrome Toyota badging here and brushed aluminum trim along the sides. And then we do have fingertip controls on the right hand side. This is for your cruise control system and your lane tracing. And also you can switch your radio stations here with the fingertips. On the left hand side, information center controls are here. Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone and you can adjust your volume on your sound system. XSE trim also has paddle shifters. So you've got your down and you're up here we've got intermittent wipers up front for your front washer wiper and then we have headlights over here with automatic uh, on and off feature as well now the avalon xse does not have fog lights on here here's a quick look at our gauge cluster i'll go ahead and start it up give you a sense for what it looks like when you wake it up in the morning So as a hybrid on the left-hand side, well, first of all, it's a white on, on black backlit screen. 
On the left hand side, this is your hybrid monitoring system, engine temperature gauge, information centers in the middle, and you can control that or toggle through that right here on the steering wheel. So I can go ahead and move through all of my safety sense settings. I can set up my sound system. I also have a compass right there, outside temperature. So there's a lot of great features there. And then we do have blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert. There's your speedometer and your fuel gauge. So a nice layout in terms of the uh, gauge cluster. It's really clear and easy to see through the steering wheel. As we move over into onto the center console, we'll take a look up at top at our um, center stack. Now this one does have the upgraded premium sound system. So you've got the JBL audio system, Cirrus satellite radio, Apple CarPlay, Alexa, Android Auto compatible, dynamic navigation on here. So a lot of great features. Uh, the Cirrus satellite radio includes three months of premium subscription, no charge. And then after that, you do have a monthly subscription fee. Uh, automatic air conditioning is here. Driver and front passenger controls, heated seats up front, but not ventilated seats up front and no heated seats in the back. Front window defrost, rear window defrost with heated outside mirrors. That's the control right there for that. So you push the button, it'll get the ice and snow off of your outside mirrors. This is gonna kick up and cool me down here real quick. So your center console, again, it does have the Cognac um, soft tech fabric on here. There's two cup holders with bezels, uh, brushed aluminum bezels. This is more of your traditional. This one's nice because you can drop your smartphone right here and it will stand up if you just want to quick drop it in the center console. Uh, we have electronic parking brake, uh, EV mode. Here's our transmission settings so we can change eco, normal, and sport. And when we switch between those, we get a visual indicator up in the gauge cluster. So you see the dark red line at the bottom there and you'll see it turns blue and then green. So there is a visual indicator as to what drive mode you're running in. We have a leather shifter here. We also have a nice little storage cubby up here, down here. Let me actually get this out of the way. But then underneath here, there's a hidden compartment and that's where you've got wireless charging. So if you wanna drop your smartphone down there, you can quickly do that and wirelessly charge your phone. I did want to show you the backup camera, so we'll put this in reverse. And so here's our backup camera with our tracing, and it's a, it's a it's a active tracing on the grids there, so that actually moves around. And then you can also change the wide angle view of your backup camera. So if you want a wide angle like that, or you want narrow, you can of course do that. And then if you want to have the cross, you can actually change what grid lines are showing up by tapping on that button there. So that's your backup camera setup. Did want to show you the uh, center console. So the armrest on this Avalon is huge, plenty of room for two arms. And then if we pop it open, there's an odds and ends tray right here. And then inside the center console, there's three additional charging ports. So a USB-A, C, and then your standard USB charger there. And there's plenty of room down in here for storing items as well. So it's a big center console armrest. This does not lock. It's not a locking armrest. Here's a quick look at your passenger side. Notice we do have the soft tech fabric up here and that kind of metal trim up here as well. So it's a Really nice, comfortable cockpit, plenty of room for knee room and such. And then we have a full-size glove box, but this glove box does not lock, so it's not a locking glove box. Part of the JBL audio system, the extra charge sound system, you do pick up some extra speakers up in the uh, A pillar. So there's one there, and there's another one here, and then there's some additional speakers up in the dash as well. So the JBL audio system comes with a 1200 watt amplifier. It's a really, really great sound system. Stop by the dealership, give it a listen. Also, the XSE trim does come standard with the power sliding moonroof, 
which also has the visor. So you can open and close that if you'd like. We've got uh, lighted vanity mirrors up here on both sides. We've got sliding visors so you can extend them out like so. Also have LED lights overhead, power moonroof controls, uh, safety connect is up here as well. My camera's kind of twisted a little bit. And then we do have an automatic dimming outside mirror with home link uh, connectivity as well. So you can set this up to open your garage door up to three different um, remote devices. So that's a quick look up front on the Avalon XSE Hybrid. Let's go ahead and jump into the back seat and check it out. So here's a quick look at the driver's cockpit from the back seat. There's a lot of room in the front seat of an Avalon. This is a full-size sedan, and so five-passenger seating is totally practical. Lots of room back here. In fact, you can see how much legroom I have. Now, this seat is in my driving position. It's not all the way back, but even when it's all the way back, there's about five inches of additional legroom. There's pockets on the backs of both seats. There's vents down here, two separate charging ports, a USB A and a C. So plenty of places to plug in your stuff. Now I do have this back seat uh, down. I wanted to show you that you can still fold it down and have a passenger in the back and there's your trunk. And then you can also bring this seat back up and when you do, there's plenty of room back here for three adults. There are uh, child safety seat anchors down here. There's also speakers in the doors, part of the JBL audio system. So a speaker up there, one down here. Bottle holders in the doors as well. LED overhead lighting, passenger assist grips, side curtain airbags. So it's a very comfortable back seat. There is um, a folding armrest here, and you can see it's got the uh, gloss black trim, two cups, and then there's a place here you can just drop your cell phones in or your tablets or what have you. So a very, very comfortable rear seat. Like I say, five adults, no problem, super comfortable, tons of room. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in the back seat and check out, or I'm sorry, let's jump in the trunk and check it out. Okay, so diving into the trunk, you can use your remote keyless entry or there's a release right here to be able to open the trunk. And of course, there's your backup camera as well. So diving into the trunk itself, nice low lift over height. It's super wide, so for sure you can fit two sets of golf clubs four if you wanted to I'm sure you just pile them in there so the the floor of the trunk is really flat it does come with a cargo net that's what that is and you can see I've got 60% of the rear seat folded down and then up underneath this is your subwoofer your for your JBL audio system there's also a cargo light up here as well and then over on this side is where you'll find your battery so if you need a jump start, that's where the battery is. And then under the floor here, there's a lift right here. You can take this, bring it up like so, and hang it up there. And then there's your spare tire and your jack, or your jack and your tool kit. It's in this high density foam and then spare tires down underneath here. And you can see there's room for jumper cables or emergency equipment if you need to. You can put all that, slide all that under there drop this back down and you've got a nice flat floor with tons of cargo space.